now i am taking up the third video of your chapter matrices i am telling you how to do the multiplication of mat matrices i told you while doing the addition and subtraction that addition and subtraction are possible only when the order of the matrices are equal but now as we are going to take up the multiplication the conditions are different now multiplication of two matrices is possible only when the columns of the first matrix are equal to the rows of the second matrix now the condition is columns suppose you have to you are given two matrices a and b and you are asked to find the product ab so column of a matrix a should be equal to rows of matrix b this is the condition which you have to remember so the columns of the first matrix should be equal to the rows of the second matrix whose multiplication you have to do now i am taking up the some questions from your exercise and you will come to know how to do the multiplication now i am taking up the question 11th in question 11th the matrix a is given to you as 1 0 2 1 and matrix b is given to you as 2 3 1 and you have to find a square plus ab plus b square now a square means multiply a matrix with a only means by itself a square means you have to find a multiply a so i am doing the multiplication separately don't do them together otherwise it is going to give you a confusion so i am finding first a square a square is matrix a is 1 0 2 1 it is to be multiplied with a only a square doesn't mean that you are going to take the square of all the elements it is a multiply a and what the condition i told you that the number of columns of the first matrix as you see there are two columns should be equal to the rows of the second matrix and there also you find the rows also the same so multiplication is possible now see how you are going to do the multiplication the corresponding elements will be multiplied with each other and after adding up all the multiplications that is going to give you a single element that is 1 0 will be multiplied with 1 2 in that 1 is to be multiplied with 1 1 is to be multiplied with 1 plus 0 to be multiplied with 2 that is why the condition is that the number of columns should be equal to numbers of rows so that the corresponding elements may be multiplied 0 multiplied 2 now this is going to give you one single element a11 when first row will be multiplied with first column i mean to say first row of the first matrix to be multiplied with first column of the second matrix then that makes up only a single element a11 so i had shown you how you have to do it 
Now come up for this element. This is the element of the first row, second column. So you are going to take up the first row now with the second column. Now again multiply 1 with 0. You will multiply 1 with 0. And 0 to be multiplied with 1 to be multiplied with 0 and 0 to be multiplied with 1. I think you must have come to know how to do the multiplication. How to multiply the elements. Corresponding elements are to be multiplied. Now I'm going to write the direct answers. One multiplied one gives you one. Plus zero into two. 0. So the element is only 1. Now I am taking the first row, second column, 1 multiplied with 0, 0. Plus 0 into 1, again 0. Now you have 2 multiplied with 1 becomes 2. 1 multiplied with 2 also becomes 2. 2 plus 2 becomes 4. This is the element of the second row first column. Now multiply the second row with second column. 2 multiplied by 0 gives you 0. Plus 1 multiplied with 1 gives you 1. So the element is 1. So this is how I have found a square. Now I'll be finding AB. A square we have found. Now we will find AB. AB says multiply A with B. A is 1, 0, 2, 1. And B is 2, 3, you know I'm taking up 11th question. 2, 3, minus 1, 0. Now the same pattern is to be followed. Do the multiplication now. As I told you for A square. First row to be multiplied with first column. And multiply the corresponding elements. 1 multiplied with 1 multiplied with 2 gives you 2. And 0 multiplied with minus 1 gives you 0. So element is 2. Now you will take first row, second column. 1 multiplied 3 gives you 3. And 0 multiplied 0 gives you 0. So it will be 3. Finally. Because 3 added to 0 gives you 3. Now come to the second row. 2 multiplied 2 gives you 4. And 1 multiplied with minus 1 gives you minus 1. And 4 minus 1 becomes 3. A single element. 4, 2 into 2, 4 plus 1 into minus 1. That becomes minus 1. So 4 minus 1, 3. Now 2 multiply 3. Second row with second column. When the complete second row will be multiplied with the second column, you are going to get a single element of A2, 2. So 2 into 3, 6. Plus 1 into 0, 0. So you'll get 6 over here. So I have found AB also. Now we have to find B square. After that we have to add up all. So I'm not removing this A square. This is your A square. 
and this is your AB. Now I will be finding B square. B square means multiply B with B. That is 2, 3, minus 1, 0, to be multiplied with 2, 3, minus 1, 0. So this is equal to, again now take the first row, first column, and form the element A11. 2 into 2, 4. And 3 into minus 1, minus 3. 4 minus 3, 1. Now 2 into 3, 6. And 3 into 0, 0. You will get 6. Now come to the second row. Minus 1 to be multiplied with 2. Minus 2. Now I am again going to see how we have got 6. First row to be multiplied with second. 2, 3 is a 6 plus 3 into 0, 0. Now minus 1 to be multiplied with 2. Minus 2. 0 into minus 1, 0. It will be minus 2. Minus 1 into 3, minus 3. And 0 into 0, 0. So you will get minus 3. So this is B square. A square we have calculated, AB we have calculated, B square we have calculated. Now we have to add them. Now I am going to addition already we have done. Addition we have done, addition and subtraction we have already done it in the previous exercise. But still I am calculating it till the final answer. So what you have to write? A square plus AB. Your AB is 2, 3, 3, 6. This was your AB which I am removing now. And plus, after that plus, this B square. And I told you that you have to do the operation of two matrices at a time. So first add up these two. Add the corresponding elements. 1 plus 2, 3. 0 plus 3, 3. 4 plus 3, 7. 1 plus 6, 7. Now write this third matrix which we have calculated as B square. It was 1, 6, minus 2, minus 3. Now you can write its addition also. Add the corresponding elements. 3 plus 1. 4, 3 plus 6, 3 plus 1, 4, 3 plus 6, 9, 7 minus 2, 5, 7 minus 3, 4. This is the final answer which you are going to do. Get it for your 11th question. Now I am taking up one more question. That is your question number 15th. Question number 15 says if x is equal to 4, 1, minus 1, 2, show that 6x minus x square is equal to 9i. 
I I told you is a matrix. What type of matrix it is? I identity matrix, or which we also call it as the unit matrix. And I have told you how to form the identity matrix. So when you are going to use this left hand side, let us see what you get as the answer. First, take up the left hand side. I'm directly showing you how much is six x. Six x means multiply each and every element of matrix X with six. And your matrix X, you can see it from the question. It is question number fifteen. So if six is multiplied with four, you are going to get twenty four. Six into one. Six, six minus one, minus six, and six into two, twelve. This is your six x. Now you have to find x square. In order to find x square, multiply x with x. X is four, one. It is four, one, minus one, two. Multiply it with itself. Four, one, minus one, two. You can find x square. First row with first column. Four fours are sixteen. Sixteen minus one, fifteen. Now first row with second column, four ones are four. Plus one into two, two. Four plus two, six. Do the same with second row now. Second row, first column, minus one into four, minus four. And my two into minus one, minus two, minus four, minus two becomes minus six. Minus one into one becomes minus one, and plus two into two becomes four. Four minus one becomes three. This is x square. Now you have to find six x minus x square. This is your six x. This one is your six x. I'm right. I'm writing with it minus x square. Now I'm finding six x minus x square. X square is fifteen. Six minus six, three. Now let us see what you get after subtraction. Subtraction is twenty-four minus fifteen. I think nine. Six minus six, zero. Minus six. Minus minus six. I think we have done. I have done something wrong. How? This should okay. It's correct. It is minus six minus minus six. So this becomes plus six minus six plus six becomes zero again, and twelve minus three becomes nine. This is your left hand side. Now you have to show it equal to nine i. Your right hand side is nine i. And I, you see that the left hand side is of a matrix two by two. So you are going to write the identity matrix nine times of it, identity matrix of the order two by two, which will be one, zero, zero, one. This I have already explained you how to form the identity matrix or the unit matrix. 
so nine times of this unit matrix i think you can calculate and tell how much it will be 9 into 9 9 ones are 9 0 0 9 so left hand side is equal to right hand side so hence this is how we have shown that they are equal now in the next video i am going to explain you some more questions based on it